You, you, you are now tuned in to Beige Bella. More importantly, bitches ain't shit. <laughs> Man, bingo. I've been reading bitches my whole life. That's my job. That's why I fuck. If you have any <laughs> problems, this shit is real. Y'all think Nero knows what the fuck he is doing? There's no real girl code. It's what I call bitch politics. (laughs) Don't women want most of all? More. More. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever it is they want. More. It's time to join the movement. G-Y-P-B. Get get, get, get your balls back. They don't understand. I'm giving you the best of me so that I can fuck you. But once that's over, the contract is over. Right. Wrong. 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 Everything your mama said. Wrong. Fuck that bitch too. But this is some stuff I pulled out of the Bible. Now I don't believe in the Bible. I don't and then the Lord said Timothy yeah. 211 to 15. Let a woman learn quietly with all submissiveness. Shut your mouth! Oh <laughs> mm. uh, shit. It's about to go now. GYBB, get your balls back. BABB, be a better bitch. The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Oh, nice. Yes, we have a special show. Uh, And I know I've said that 180 times before. In a row. But this time, Mm -hmm. this time I mean it. Oh, finally. Uh, Yeah, because we have a special guest. And you, I'm not even going to get into it because it's <laughs> so crazy that uh, I don't, I'm not even going to get into it. Mara, how are you? I'm fantastic. I'm you, pumped. Yeah. You ready for this? I am ready. We ready to get into it. Oh, yeah. Get greedy. It'll be a good one. Yeah. And uh, everything good? Everything good? You, you excited? Are you pumped up? <laughs> I'm pumped. Yeah, you look it. <laughs> <laughs> See, now we got the cameras. You, get, you can't lie about it. Right, right. <laughs> Harry, what's up, baby? Uh, I'm doing good, Dante. Doing all right. Uh, I am also I'm a little more pumped than Mara. Yeah. Because I almost got those gators down. I'm trying to keep those gators down. D- Having a tough time doing it, man. Difficult, difficult. People yeah. say pimping ain't easy. I say it gets easier with time and practice. That's true. This is true. It's easier. I almost got them down. Almost. But And then they just popped up. Uh, yeah, they slipped right out, man. Like a pop-o-matic. Uh... How's my little retarded son? You good? Fuck you. I'm good. You I'm good? doing well. A little hungry. You been reading? Well. You hungry? Yeah, you been reading? You got everything right today? I got a book in my bag. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? Let's let's say that again. I want you to say that one more time. I got a book in my bag. And, and. Oh. No pictures. No, no pictures. Oh, wow. Small words. Ten house form. <laughs> it's it. getting crazy. He hasn't yeah. opened it. Yeah. But uh, it's, that it's part's not important. <laughs> <laughs> it's there, though. That's it's, all as saying. long as you got it. That's all that matters. Mm-hmm. Um, here's the thing. Uh, first of all, I gotta. I have to introduce uh, my love, my friend. Oh, my God. Uh, she has brought so many great guests to this podcast. Uh, and the world, friend, dare I say it. Amazing PR person, Lainey Spencer. Give it up for Lainey. Lainey, give it up for Lainey. Welcome back again, sweetie. Great to be back. Talking to that, talking to that. Mic. Yeah. All right. Yeah, just now. grab yeah. around the base. Right. I yeah. <laughs> I wrote a book about this. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, our guest here is today, we've tweeted it out. Um... Uh, amazing uh, porn star. Mm? I had to do a little research. Uh, um, <laughs> had yeah. To do- <laughs> yeah, this is the only uh, time Dante's ever sh- sent pre-show materials to us. Uh, I did. I did research. He sent us some dossier. Usually Dante just comes here and rolls with it. No, I had to because I'm trying to be more professional. Oh, okay. Is that what it is? <laughs> That's what it is. I'm trying to be more professional. So Let's I- see if it stays consistent next <laughs> week. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> um. Beautiful. I got no info on Dave Smith last week. <laughs> uh, none. Yeah, because there is none. Oh, That's okay. <laughs> right. Sorry, Dave. Um, uh, young lady, uh, very, very beautiful young lady, uh, porn star. Still porn star? No. I've been retired for like two How long you been? Least? Two years? Yes, okay. Years. Ever think about going back? No, not really. Uh, Jordan. I still have a very active award-winning site, so like I can always update that whenever I want. Sounds sounds fantastic. Yeah. Um, let's give it up for Mia Isabella. Give it up for Mia Isabella. Yeah. Thank you. Now, if you don't if you don't know Mia Isabella, she's heavy, been heavy in the internet. Uh, with heavy, right? With <laughs> More with heavy. Tiger rapper Tiger. Mm. Yeah, had a little thing going on with him. A little. We've been friends for a long time. 
And um, what does that mean? <laughs> I've known him for a long time. Or just, was it romantic friendship? I, I think I think the internet pretty much pretty much they, covered I think it. They pretty much covered it. Yeah. All right, so that's a yes. I suppose. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've known him for a very long. Okay. Time. All right. This is the only time someone who said the internet is accurate. You really? This is the first time <laughs> well, in history. You know, they went, did lie a lot. There yeah, was a lot yeah. of stuff, but we we kind of cleared the air. I think. Yeah, you oh. cleared the air. And uh, let me ask you this: Was he forthcoming about? Well, how? What? Let me say this. How would you describe yourself? Because I don't want to say the wrong thing. No, say whatever you feel. And then no, I'll, no, I want to. I, I want to be accurate about your the title with the new LGBT community. <laughs> I don't want to say the wrong thing. There's 50 different classifications. I know three of them. It's yeah. funny that. Um, <laughs> well, I guess when I'm doing interviews, I do call myself a trans woman, but in real life, I just. Live as a woman. So live I, don't, as a woman. I don't think of it like that until people make a big deal about it. Right. Which is why it's always confusing to me because I'm like, I don't walk around calling myself a transsexual. Right. Only when I do media and I realize, like, okay, that's the reason why they want to talk to me, you know? It's because of that. Yeah. What's, and here's, you'll find that I don't really give a fuck <laughs> either way. But the, the point being, I, I think people want to know, and that would mean you still have the twig and berries, yes? Yes. I yes. Do. Still got the twig and berries. Okay. The so tree. He, the, the what? The tree. The tree and, yeah, and took coconuts. Me a minute, but I didn't know what twig and berries were. <laughs> the tree and the coconuts. The meat and potatoes, yeah. 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 All that. I don't mean potatoes. Meat and potatoes. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Here, here's the thing I want to ask. Um, because uh, now, have you, you you've dated straight men? Only ever oh, straight Only men. straight yeah. men. Now, um, here's what I want to know. Uh, do you find, because you live as a woman, mm-hmm. right? So let me, let me just give you a background on, on the show. The show okay. is very, uh, I would say, male. Uh, I've done a lot of male-dominated shows male that, dominated. that just kind of just go yeah, but in not, for that. Yeah, not like this, though. Um, <laughs> this is uh, not like well, and, and here's, Chicago. Here's this is the what, pure concentrate no. stuff. Yeah, this yeah, is, yeah, we this didn't is, cut this up with baby this, laxative or yeah, nothing. There's no, okay. uh, no Bonita. <laughs> No, yeah. Benita, Mara, that's a, a cut that you used to cut her. Yeah. Never mind. I'll tell you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mara doesn't need to know. She just gets to do it back in the day. You know, in the younger days. In the younger days. In the younger yeah. days. Yeah. Uh, Before she met a man and settled down. and uh, so here's, Six months ago. Yeah, yeah. This was interesting. <laughs> in we, 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 we deal with the gender roles. The gender roles and what those gender roles are. And, I've, and we've had... Um, We've had lesbians, we have gay men, and what I what I pr- believe, this is just my belief, and you tell me if you agree okay. or don't agree, that even in the context of um, maybe less traditional relationships, mm-hmm. right, that those that that masculine and that feminine still exists. I, yeah, I believe that for sure, and I think uh, as far as me being a trans person, I I contain both of those roles in one. And form. you do you, you you what do you, which do you prefer? I mean, sexually, I am. All, you know, sp- specifically female in that regard with my personal relationships. Um, but as far as mentally and emotionally, I'm an alpha. Alpha, so you would consider yourself... I have a masculine too Mara. when it comes to... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to my dynamic with like, you know, just emotionally how I deal with things. Right, right. So uh, on you take it, so you're, you're kind of like the caregiver, you're like the, a little more I emotional. And But where do you, where do you, do you find yourself... It's your a good s- balance. Yeah? Yeah. Like right down the middle or no? Because when I look it at depends, you, I don't depends, see, I don't see right. well, dude I, at well, all. It's not about being dude. It's just like you said, the, the context of ma- uh, submissive or dominant. Right. And I would be considered an alpha mentally and emotionally with my partners because I'm usually privately, I run the show. Sexually, I am So submissive. you're a woman. Yeah. <laughs> I know what I was going to say, but they, they have it. Because that's, it, it's, it's, it's weird that way uh, in that I find that because of feminism and because of the way that things are changing now there's this whole need to to uh there's this emasculation of men that how you feel yeah absolutely absolutely you don't agree i feel like a real alpha man can never be emasculated very good that i would agree with that there's no way to to do that you can't take that from him i I agree with you but i think what happens is now that with with the i think they're not allowing it to grow they're trying to cut it off at the root before well maybe it needs to be controlled a little bit (laughs) well you're you're being they're being raised by women who are emasculating them from a a small toddler age through adulthood and they just think this is how it goes and you you uh, you made a face so i'm wondering i didn't know that was a thing no really no 
Yeah, yeah. cuz you I mean, it's not a concern for you cuz you got both. So <laughs> right, you're like that's right. what, so you don't know that men are getting shit on. <laughs> shit on. You're not aware of this at all. I never knew men were getting shit on. I thought they were still, I thought they were still a male dominated world we were living in. <sighs> wow. Yeah. That's interesting. You're just like oblivious to this. That's kind of cool. Well, I mean, I'm, a, uh, I'm You can educate me today and I can educate you. A I, that sounds good. Sounds good. Let's go there. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> here, when I, I, I think what's happening is even when you look at uh, you look on TV and you look at the images, um, you, there's always this kind of like the guy's an idiot and he's kind of oh honey, what a happy wife, happy, happy life. life. You, you you get this constantly, and I find, I personally I'm a, I'm I'm pretty alpha dude, and I don't like I've never met a woman that doesn't like a strong man. Exactly. Don't. See, we can don't. I, we're can not. I ask you this just as a uh, good show, guys? Good show. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Let's wrap it up. You want to do your credits, Mark? Mark, Mar- 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 live. Thank you so much. To play devil's advocate, I'd love to like know what your counter argument would be if somebody goes, uh, "Well, you know, you're saying that it's men are being emasculated, but men control almost everything in the world, yes. pretty much." I, I don't. So what's the I don't know. If that, I don't know that? if that's the case. I really don't know. Like, I've mm-hmm. looked at this deeper, and I've done a lot. One of the things that we talked about this last show was how 50 percent of all domestic abuse is perpetuated by women, as well. But look at how many people are. So basically, they're Congress. fighting back. That's a uh, problem. No, they're not fighting back. <laughs> they're they're initiating it. Okay. Yeah. But this is but you you have to look at the situation for a man to go. Oh, my wife beats me. You can't really do that. And okay. there's no we we even looked into like where are the, there's like battered uh, shelters for men. There's one battered shelter for men. It's in Canada, and there's four <laughs> beds. <laughs> wow. So it's like, so it's okay, more I of mean, a bed when you, when you When you then. bring it like that, of course, it seems like there's yeah. an unfair advantage. But well, I, I don't think it's an unfair advantage. I think it's just sort of the, the geography of what has happened. As a, as a man, you can't go, my so wife. So statistically, you're, you're saying factually that, that 50% of oh, it all absolutely. is shown. Absolutely. But, but z- Where almost, do they get this data? Almost 0% of the men will actually uh, report it. Will report it. Right. But where do they get this data? It's just well-known data. It's it's it's. I can look up the. T- Harry, can you look it up? <laughs> I'm like, I want to see I'll this. Let me, yeah, let me find it. Uh, I think. Did you mean more like the leaders in our country and CEOs are? It's a male-dominated. I would ask. Yeah, that, I would yeah. imagine that. Like, that's like politically. I mean. Well, I mean, even if you think about, even if you think about marriage. Well, what's the big deal about the financial aspect of things when they're? I saw these campaigns about uh, women not getting equal pay or something like that, and they're making a fight. Oh, absolutely. That. No, I'm so, not. I mean, they're getting more money. Well, here's 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 the thing with that. Even when you even when you talk about that, I, I don't I don't deny the fact that women are not getting more, but that m- women are getting shorted in or certain that they situations. Get equal pay, yeah. I'm just saying that they're in the in the context of this, the, every every side has its problems, and they're not and men's problems are really not dealt with because you're not allowed to say my wife beats me or my wife is abusive. Whereas if I and I and I mean I'm 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 a victim of it. Like if a guy says my wife is beating me, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm so. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, you know, I mean, it's just the way we look at it differently. Whereas even if I was walking down the street and I saw a guy hitting a a, a chick or, or, you know, I would I would go I would I'm that type of dude that I would step in and do that. So um, in that sense, it's just not socially. It's not okay for us to say that when there are men who and and not necessarily where a guy couldn't physically uh, beat the woman if they were in a fight but just that he doesn't because he's emotionally just like when you talk about a woman a battered woman who's is emotionally right. she doesn't fight back or she doesn't mm-hmm. leave not because she can't it's just because men she's in this mental prison right where this is happening and, and you, you get into this i mean i personally when i was younger i was in a really abusive kind of relationship not physically abusive but a very, I was too. that's um, why um, it's, t- it's kind of touching a little close so i'm okay. just trying to absorb it a little bit before I. and comment. this was as you were living as as a woman of or course, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and and when did you start living as a woman well i mean i, I got to live my gender role since my youth since i was a really kid. since yeah. how old like five years old. Really? When I made it very apparent that I was in that female gender role, I right. chose that role. I got to live that role. And you're, you're, I wasn't wearing dresses and stuff like that, but I mean, I got to be androgynous and live my, my normal And your parents, life. Would, they didn't have a problem? My, my, my father was the one who was amazing with it. My mother had a problem for a little bit. But right. Obviously, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, she got over it. So. That yeah. is really my awesome. My daddy wasn't going for it. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know an Indian dude who can't be an engineer because <laughs> his dad thinks he's a faggot because he's not yeah. being a doctor. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, yeah, I mean, yeah. like literally. So it's Some like it's interesting to take that. that 
that you had such a kind of a supportive situation mm. so early on, which is kind of... I'm lucky. When I yeah. got older and I realized that it's not a normal thing, I'm like, wow, no. I'm learning a lot of things that I thought were normal are not normal. So mm. it's wow. news to me so you just, and the world. <laughs> you're like a little princess, just got what you want. I've, I've been pretty I'm, lucky. Well, let's end this show. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean so but I mean it's funny that you're not aware of 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 this um this I emasculation would, I wouldn't of- have that perspective though. You know what I mean? I deal I deal with a lot of powerful men. So I just assume that they're generally running and that's their usually- worlds. Yeah, and with I- me they sub- they're submissive uh emotionally or mentally because I'm an equal alpha to them mentally. Um so I don't get that perspective because I just know I've never. This is funny because I don't, I don't, I, I understand the, you know, that kind of because I, I think that any man needs a woman who's kind of nurturing and stuff and and almost I don't know if I'd say submissive, but I mean I think no. we fit we Depends fit into the partner. yeah we fit into these roles that are just comfortable. It's two pu- puzzle pieces that kind of fit together, mm-hmm. and um and and I think but what's what's happening now is it's it's just so since you're just oblivious to he all can't, the he can't even shit. believe them it's like okay yeah like it's that there's this there's this whole feminist movement where feminism is meaning more so uh where they're the inequality of things the privilege of women as opposed to the equality now I look I I think if you do the same job you should get the same pay I think if you 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 should have maternity leave I mean and I think there's just rights. stuff that's just just obvious right. um but i mean there's there's real <laughs> real situations where a lot of things are not obvious i mean like if you took a, you talk about the race issue a lot of times they're like oh that black guy he shouldn't be like like if you're racist at this point right you're just an idiot it's true. because we already understand that scientifically everything's blended everything is like we are the same that if you want to say that the difference in the melanin in my skin makes you smart like we've already <laughs> proved like it's just there's an absurdness to that right. so um but there's, you know, so I, I don't, I don't debate the obvious, you know, like equal pay, maternity leave, reproductive rights, just things that people should have. Mm-hmm. If you can do the job and you're a woman, you should do the job. I mean, it just, it just, just doesn't seem. I'm kind of like you in that sense. I like, guess this I, is- I guess I think because uh, I'm realizing so much inequality for trans people is it's taking place that I right. just can't even fathom how that would even be an issue. For You're men, saying it's coming, men. it's becoming that way. I, I mean, from uh, trans women, it's been that all until now recently that they're shining light on these, these right. different kinds of lives so I, I feel like that's a really big issue I, I couldn't even fathom that men are not controlling their own household or their own relationships and wow. all situations mm. when there's lesser people that are being treated lesser because of who they are for being colored and trans that are dealing with each, every kind of equal or discrimination and inequality wow based on their color and their gender preference that's it's great it's just, it's just nuts to me that you're so unaware of this and i guess part of it is that um i guess part of it it takes a, a special type of dude to be with you and be and, and i've always had really alpha men right yeah that i think and they were all, they also kind of abused that privilege and that power and that it was a right to them it was never a uh you know i just mm. um they just it was a right for those kinds of men i usually go for super super strong powerful men right so i've never seen anything other than that in my personal experience right why do you life. think that is that you go you go for that type of man um i guess because i naturally i am submissive to only someone is that extreme of an alpha because i am an alpha oh so you need somebody over the top to it has to right, be right, like right, a right. real beast we for call you to it, be on this show we call somebody. it a strong bitch <laughs> 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 so i mean cuz you, you you find that in in just you know, women in general. If if you have a strong woman, that's who she is. And a lot of times, you'll you'll have a lot of um, like, uh, okay, well, you should just be. He's a nice guy. You should be nice to him. But what's what's what happens is is I go, you know, the way I deal with it or the way I look at it, it's much deeper than that. Like, um, as we pick mates as a species, because we're still animals. Mm-hmm. Um, it's important. These th- here's here's what I want. Let me clear this in my head. This the the reason why the species survives is because the feminine picks the right mates. Yeah. In any Darwinistic situation, in any situation where an animal, the female aspect does of the, the picking, yeah. she she does the picking, and when she picks the wrong mates, that species goes extinct. That's what happens because the need to pick the right DNA so right. that 
so carry on the information. Be, right. So t- t- from generation to generation. So what's interesting is the 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 a lot of the feminist movement right now, or I should say the the feminazis are are picking. <laughs> they're deciding. They're 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 intellectually deciding what this man should look like or you should do this you should do this these gender roles they're not and i say this all the time i said you, you don't know what you want you you your pussy does or you know <laughs> your, i'm just saying like, all your twig and berries you know whatever like, Whoa. <laughs> because it's a it's a situation what i'm saying is it's a visceral feeling it's a feeling you're attracted to who you're attracted to yeah, it's, a, it's a it's yeah. a it's a visceral kind of feeling as opposed to something that is is where you decide, like you could. Oh, I want a guy who has. Oh well, yeah, I don't believe in the whole Let's checklist like, crap. Right, like right, that's, right. That's but that is. I had a multi-millionaire husband, and then I had a very poor fiance after him. Right. So I don't believe in that. That's kind of stupid. Yeah, the checklist I mean, of what he's got to have. Right, because if you, you either ha- mesh and rock or you don't. Right. If you because if but you that's have what the, it is, it's a sub sort of a subconscious thing that you may not. That so that's what he's saying. Is they're they're yeah. they're programming these girls to have like this checklist of what. This ideal right. person is supposed to and this, like, and what the gender roles are, and, and what those gender roles are. Right. Exactly what those gender. This is okay. This is yeah. like for it's, instance, you'll yeah, find. I'm learning a lot about gender role. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. And it's <laughs> it's interesting because even if a woman wants to be a housewife, all of a sudden she can't be a housewife because feminists say, "Oh, that's you're submissive to." Me. It's really insane. Like it's it's which is not what feminism is about. If you want to be a houswife. Just that be able to do right. whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah. You're right. It's your yeah. choice. But you know to what? It's, it's always the crazies. There's always extremists in everything. Right, right, but the right. crazies set the tone. That's yeah. the crazy. It's the it's and, the moderates that well, don't. Well, really economically, s- also rent, rent, uh, childcare is six times more than rent in uh, some of the more like right. Binghamton, New York. That's the most expensive. But on average, it's like four to five times more. So you, you can't work. So someone has to stay home. Right. Right. So that's not. Right. I mean. Anyway, right. Well, the, the the thing we talk about is is how feminism uh, started as a necessity, and it, it is ne- it, w- sure, it, it is was necessary. You know, even some extent. of those situations, like for instance, I was I was reading this book. I, I forget the name of the book, but um, oh god, did it have I, pictures uh, in it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not a lot. Not a, just diagrams. Too many for Andre. <laughs> not enough, but too many for Andre. Uh, yeah. But the, the book was actually book talking about in England the feminist movement in, in England actually. <laughs> The women didn't want uh, the equality of, of of they didn't want the right to vote. Some women didn't want the right to vote because the right to vote was attached to the draft. So, for instance, mm. um, in in England, first the uh, only the aristocracy could vote, and then when they gave the vote to the common man. Um, that was part of his ability to be drafted into war. And so there's a group of women, historically, who didn't want to vote because they felt as though their right to vote would what be mean attached. they had to go to war? They would have to go to war. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right, it does. Because <laughs> that would that that's that's be equality. Want to to <laughs> right. That would be equality. Yeah. So it's like I, I, I just did an interview a little while ago and uh, – we were. I was talking. We were talking about the whole Ray Rice thing, and I and I was and it was a little little extreme. But I was saying, well, the Ray, elevator guy. Yeah, the elevator okay. guy. Elevator well, Ray guy. Rice, and I say, <laughs> funny. I don't know. Uh, pro ball running back. Fuck the football. <laughs> pro ball. He's a yeah. pro elevator dude. But now that's right. That's, <laughs> I never saw the internet. But that's what the reputation. That's funny. But that's it's that's what it boils everything. down to. The elevator he's guy. He's the elevator guy now. There you right. go. Stupid. Scotty. You're the elevator guy now. <laughs> so what's what's interesting is I was saying that um, as tragic as that violence was. He treated her equally because if a guy spit in my face, I would knock him the fuck out. So to have a woman spit in my face and not knock her out is actually unfair. being it's unfair. No, that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> How is mean, that ridiculous? So if you're saying equally, then he should have just spit in her face back and that should have been the end of it. No, if a guy unsolicited But it's not in, that's not a guy, that's his wife. But then we're talking then, then, then we're equal. talking about it's not equal. So if we're saying the truth she of She didn't equal, punch him in the face, did she? Um, actually did punch him. Did she? Yeah, she punched him first and then she, she pushed him. She okay. bitch. Well, punch she it was a physical violence. It should, if you're going to be domestically abusing your partner, then it should be an equal retaliation and that right. kind of stuff. I'm, but, no, I'm just saying as a guy, when I treat, uh, the way I would treat a guy is if I'm, if, if. I even, get that, but that guy is also not your partner. Um, but if a mm. chick that I'm dating spits in my face. I'm gonna knock her the fuck out. Oh wow! Yeah, 
but I've never had no chick spit in my face. You know, I mean, not, I, I'm you're not, not, not <laughs> aggressively, not no, hostile. Not unless I ask, no, and no, I no. open my That's mouth, and I, 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 I got a feeling yeah. you like a little spit. In yeah, the face. I, I like yeah. a little spit. <laughs> <laughs> let's get the fact. Let's get some facts it's straight here. Right, well, let, you maybe, have in fact on many occasions yeah, have you not had? Yeah, to, I had a little right, spit on you. So let's. I mean, now when you put it in perspective, yeah, spit my mouth, bitch. So, but but I'm saying if in that aggressiveness I, I don't know Andre Andre's a young dude ain't Andre, nobody spitting on me right no if a dude spit in your face what would you do teeth are getting loosened nigga like it's just not it's not an option yeah but mm. Andre also you keep has saying anger a problem <laughs> <laughs> you spit in my face if your girlfriend spit in your face you're no girl ever out. even came close to spitting in my but, face but if your girlfriend spit in your face I'm gonna fuck your brother up how about that <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense now your I brother got you know what we're getting down to some solutions no I idea and if you don't have a brother you better you better tell your uncle to watch out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you want to spit on people? Watch. I will, go up the chain. I will go up to the chain of command. I'll find your mailman if I have to. Uh, it's just, I, the only reason is because I can't hit her because it's not equal. If I do hit her, everything is going to happen to me. Nothing happens to her. Right, but what if there were no consequences? If there's no consequences, uh, depends on her size. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, I think you probably would She's too small. I can't hit her because I'll break something. Right, I mean, she can handle and it. And I get that too. But I mean, she can uh, handle it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a strong <laughs> jaw. I don't know. You are, not, you are not dating anybody that could take a punch from you. That's Let's true. be honest. If you my Any, size, bitch, we, right. you, you <laughs> are. <laughs> you 6'1", two, 250? No, just, just stay away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You so. are going a little bit bigger lately, though. You are moving up the chain. You your, are. Your, Jama your Jamaican roots is, is, <laughs> is, is, is showing. I don't know what it is, but these little thick ones is just seeing them. Well, you fluffy listen, bitches. you're I don't growing know what up it as is. a man. <laughs> a little boy is becoming happening. a man, Dante. He's Jamaican. He's, it's, oh, it's, 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 it's coming up. He, look, he's going to start fucking fat bitches. And he's gonna do auto body. Yeah, and I already you know, did the auto body okay, part. So and he'll do plumbing soon and electric, sure. and <laughs> he'll make a nice oxtail by the time he's thirty. It's gonna happen. There's no way he can. It's a chain of events. <laughs> All while drinking red stripe. <laughs> red stripe. <laughs> I like red stripe. <laughs> so it's well, and and to be honest, like I, you know, like I, I'm not a dude that would, you know, beat up a little girl, but I wouldn't beat up a little dude either. Even if a little dude, yeah, but yeah. I would choke the shit out of him. I, yeah. I, I still That's don't see that too. you don't look to the kind of person that would just like punch but, your girlfriend in the face. Nobody punches. I, nobody. See, the, I'm saying that because it, I know I, you're being. You're going to the extreme of it, right? But I'm point, not. But. but I'm also not a guy that people like. Nobody spits in my face. Yeah. I had a girl try to hit me once, once, and uh, <laughs> and I caught her hand and I just squeezed all her knuckles together and she, and was, she like, was like she was like, uh, she was like life yeah. and I was like daddy, don't I was like <laughs> that was nice I like to do that again <laughs> <laughs> so I mean but but we're, we're saying that, and no, and we don't I mean here's the thing I don't think that men want equality we don't want the same thing that you we don't want the same thing from you that you want from us I mean so that's it's not equal it's different I think that our needs are different and because our needs are even when you explain you being submissive and but being intellectually alpha, it's still different. You want what you want from the relationship, yeah, of and to, to for somebody to, to to define it for you is just absurd. And I think that's what's happening. That's where the problem comes. So they're creating the image that this should, is how it's mold, be. and then that's your problem. And here's here's the, the other part of it that as a, as a species, human beings have been on this earth for over two hundred thousand years, and it's already built into our DNA. What the way we that's true, the way the feminist is f feminism and masculinity just is, and you know, and w then when we look at things like, um, uh, we look at the the you know, as we were hunter and gatherers, um, there was no possession, so there was no monogamy, no possessiveness, no, no, because everybody shared everything, it was a need to share everything in order to survive. So when you have, hunt and un it's not until we, until the agricultural age which is only 10,000 years ago that we started that we started farming then we go okay this is my plot of land right. this is my vegetables this is my woman these are my kids this <laughs> is how I provide for them and you got to stay the fuck off my land and then that's when the monogamy starts like this But is, wasn't that the man creating that atmosphere? Um I think the agricultural era is what happened. You gonna blame it on some damn plants? It is. You just said the man said this is my shit. Yeah, but why did this he do is that? My stuff. Why did he, he wanted do that? to? Because it was his stuff. Yeah, it's his stuff. But why was it not his stuff before that? 
He didn't care to make his own claim. Why yeah. not? Because it wasn't as... Why uh, not? It wasn't available. No, no, no. Why it, not? Yeah. I can't speak on that because I wasn't there 10,000 years ago. Yeah. Well, I've thought about it, and here's what the answer is. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's what happens. If you look at if you look at hunter-gatherer societies right now, like in Brazil and South America and stuff. The indigenous. Right? It, it, the, yeah, maybe, indi- but they're still hunter and gatherers. They still move and they gather fruits and yeah. vegetables and hunt. What happens is there's a dynamic of that that the whole unit of the tribe has to work as a unit in order to survive. So if I kill an elephant, we all eat, right? Okay. If I, if if the women are gathering vegetables or finding food or whatever they're doing, we all eat. So no, there's no, there's almost no, it's almost a negative to have possession to keep but aren't they like 200,000 years behind the times though I, that's the question is is that really behind the times or have we evolved past I mean, where even, we should have I mean let's be honest even if we say the what ifs whatever it, it is what it is right now right but nobody's s- gonna go back to those yeah those but times. I didn't say that you said that it was behind the time I didn't say it was behind I just said it's a different it's a different way mm-hmm. of thinking so mm-hmm. And and it was a different way of thinking because of that's how this tribe survives. So you have you have tribes in in Brazil where a, a woman will have multiple fathers. So they believe there's a tribe in Brazil where they believe the sperm actually creates the child. So she will. So and for instance, she would sleep with me if she wants to be awesome and attractive and intelligent, <laughs> and then she would sleep with Andre if she wants to be. Quirky and <laughs> a little athletic. Little, <laughs> I don't know. And then, and, I don't know. and then if she wants to be a little depressed, then she'll yeah. fuck Harry. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I also have a college degree. There's other, so there's strong, other facets to what I do. Smart <laughs> so it's, it's 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 this is their belief system. Not not it's not you know uh, scientifically. They don't believe it's scientific, but I mean, this is what their belief is. And so they have, so women, you know, the, the women of the tribe, they breastfeed each other's children. They have multiple sex partners. It's just because there they, is They no, believe that scientifically that's not true. So they're living a lie. Sperm, you don't, yeah, have, but you don't have multiple fathers. You have one. So they're yeah. going off an idealism, not mm. an actual fact. Yeah, but it's still the culture. It's, it's a cultural it idealism. Is, yeah. It is the, not a fact. Exactly, exactly. But uh, they also... Feed each other. They all breastfeed each other. That's strong. lovely. That's right. a, that's a good community. But this, it's still the community. But this, it is the community because that's the way they survive. The minute you have the agricultural era, where you have you start to set, this is my property. Then that's when you have possessions. That's but when men you, created that possession because they were the ones that ran everything. Right, because of ag- because of the you were living on the plants, not the men. Yeah, it is the I plants. I also think it's a natural. It was plant. a natural the evolution is, because if you look at is my stuff. orangutans. Yeah. No, yeah, keep it they real. barter. Wait, oh, what'd you say? You heard me. No, no, I didn't. The man said, "This is my pussy. This is my stuff. This it is what it is." Get but off why, my why land. Did, why did you do it before? You said that. Yeah. Why, why did, did you do, they it do it before? I can't speak for him. I, I think it's because <laughs> plants and, and to, to grow that that wasn't as available, and it you know to, it's you, just not what they did. Yeah, it wasn't until you mm. saw, because the the so can you, that was blamed on male greed. See, we have we actually have a we have a guy. Uh, this, I think we have a guy who wrote the books. Uh, uh. Sex at Dawn, okay. who is a scientific dude who actually does another a movie, great movie getting ready to come out called Monogamy. It's uh, it's opening in, in Italy right now. We're going to have him on the 17th, but it, I've read a couple of books on this. And all sociologists, anthropologists say that this is, this is not just me pulling out of my ass. It is. <laughs> these are, like trying to uh, hits me, and I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me, so it me. is. It is the agricultural era that created the, the idea of possession. Well, I I always thought that men created the idea of monogamy to control the women themselves, and that might be because men are not really monogamous at all. No, not at all. Not at all. But that's what the movie is about. It's all about the the, the idea of monogamy and but it, how it, it, it doesn't. It, monogamy was also related to land ownership and stuff too. Sure, this because way. women were possessions. Yeah, but also like to pass down those possessions within a family as well. The, your land passed down to your own that, that's children. A, no? That might be the that might be the result of it, but that's not the reason for it. The re- the, the possession mm-hmm. because he, at at a certain time when you when you when you start to move into the agricultural era, that women women uh, transfer resources, uh, fertility, and making babies for resources food protection et cetera, et cetera. that's what happened and that didn't happen till the agriculture because a woman in in a hunter or gatherer uh 
tribal, uh, I guess, culture, um, she still holds a position where she doesn't have to barter her her reproductive ability. She's just screwing everybody, so hoes are winning, is what you're saying. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, that's that's still the case in my it, book, it, anyway. It is, it is. Hoes are I winning. mean, they're still winning, really. I mean, if you really you really put it down, so um, I think what's interesting is the fact that um, you being trans and not being aware of this, and then. Um, me talking to you about it and, and... I've never had to exert male dominance to get my way, though. I used my femininity to get my way. That's an amazing thing. Say that again, please. Hmm. please. I just said it. I Say it again, it. please. I never oh. had to use my masculinity to get my way. Now, here's, here's the thing that me and Mara had debated about the other day because mm. Mara's a comic and she, she goes... We I used t- my masculine alpha mindset... but I presented it in a female form. Very, and, and your femininity is a very powerful thing. Of course. Um, people have gone to wars to 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 possess women and so on and so forth. I mean, you know, I, and so here and here's what happens with like me, Mara and I had this thing about her doing comedy and not and her dressing down and not using her femininity to get what I she wants. I think wanted. I totally in that too. I was like, you got to set the, the sex appeal up absolutely to match with your jokes. Yeah, mm-hmm. she has told her that. That's what I say when she goes. No, because I want to talk on... That's not what I said. That's what... Wait, I want to finish. Can I do my impression of you? Don't let now. Please continue. I don't want to finish. I don't want to do it. Give your quote properly. Give your quote properly. You close your eyes. You swear it was the real people. There's like two of us in here. Which one's Mara? Jasmine. That's what our baby's name's going to be. You make him sound like Forrest Gump for some reason now. It's getting loose. Like a, you when you do me, I sound like a retarded Andre. <laughs> That's an oxymoron. A retarded you, Andre. you are his father. <laughs> <laughs> apple doesn't fall far. I took that apple and threw but, it over the field. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I. My jokes are not. I know I, that. Mark. I don't need to show my cleavage and have all that skin out in order to deliver jokes. I don't have my cleavage out. In my daily life, Ma, your, only when I bartend. Your cleavage yeah. is out all the time. It, <laughs> <laughs> Even I in his t shirt. I, <laughs> I your <laughs> big ass titties, no matter what. They sleep they sick right into that. Your fucking cleavage sucks them in like a black hole. <laughs> <laughs> now we're all looking at her. But, I know, but yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> I, at the bar, I definitely have them out, but I'm using them to make money. You purposefully use yeah. it because you don't give a shit about bartending as an art form. That no. doesn't mean anything to you, so no. you're fine with that. I, so I get what she's saying. Right. What Mara's saying. Thanks for demeaning my position. <laughs> <laughs> that is I you. also that have is a college degree. degree. Right. Meaning bar- and we're both here, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning bartending is not something you give like you, you don't, don't have. Fuck about you don't. No, no, you, it's no. just a job. You don't have do integrity about bar. You, like, you, you don't, don't have no integrity. Well, I do. <laughs> well, are you supposed to have Mara, integrity about bartending? Are we mixed That's what I'm saying. Like pouring a damn drink. To her, it's not her. But comedy, she has a level of integrity that she wants to maintain about. Right. So I get that because Harry's stuck between us on this one still. I think. Yeah, he's between us, and I. I and, yeah. But Mia went on my side. But so you I told went. me that I but should dress the way that <laughs> I feel. Did I go on his side? You kind of did on that. Did one. I? But you, you mentioned. Aaliyah. I just want. I just wanted him to. I wanted to like absorb what he had to say and like learn a little bit. Yeah. 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 Well, if you, if it makes but I don't know what. I don't know what Aaliyah's jokes yeah. are about. I don't know so what her act is. On your side, Daddy. I know. Thank you. It's interesting. Say that again. It's Y'all missed the I'm on your side, Daddy. Y'all missed that. <laughs> no, no, no. Talk, don't she, worry, I'll she teach jokes, you. But she did, uh, about it. <laughs> don't, don't get sucked in. <laughs> she Aaliyah's, whispers it was kind of way I like jokes it. are about her being a former porn star. Oh. Right. So that Obviously. makes more sense. And and she but that is actually the way she always dressed when she wasn't you right. know, doing red carpets and all this Ooh, stuff. Um, Aaliyah Janine yeah, yeah. that right. came on. And even before she became a comedian, like when she wasn't performing, she did dress like that. She was always a little more tomboyish and stuff. And um, but she knows that she doesn't look dressed like even a porn star. So she says, you know, this is what we look like when we're not covered in cum. Right. Right. Yeah. That's that's, that's joke. her joke. Me too. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of well, awesome. I, I get that idea. Like uh, Meryl Streep as an actress is, is an, especially in her younger days, is very like as attractive as anybody. But she didn't choose to 
flaunt that part of it because she wanted to maintain yeah, but a more significant. But Selma sig- Hayek did. But her talent but made it Sel- where she didn't have to. Right. Use that. But Selma she Hayek is not on the caliber of. of she's uh, fucking awesome. <laughs> and she has the best tits <laughs> in the world. About right. Selma she really. Hayek. She used those tits. Well, what about Modern Family uh, Girl? That's, that's oh, she's amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's just hilarious. Her voice. She's hilarious. Like she's hilarious. Even if she wasn't super hot, she'd still be famous because she's hilarious. I think she's got some talent, but I don't know if she's on the caliber where she could not have that sexuality going. I don't think she'd have much of a career if she didn't show no that's her scene. character right also. Yeah. yeah that works for her but i, I don't talk about her she stole my husband <laughs> oh, <did she? laughs> oh, what, Joe oh my god he's so hot <laughs> i don't yeah. know who it is joe Mantle. you don't know who that is do you watch the show true blood did you ever watch that no show? Uh, oh she's married to that guy she's they're getting married no way and you dated him no, <laughs> no she, <laughs> she's she my fantasy really... husband who did she steal from you no 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 oh, she's just saying oh. uh, Oh, just oh, with somebody. Okay, he's, he's reading books. Or... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know what you just said. He doesn't know. What I you heard. Said. Uh, I know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea. What you, I know he, he trying to. Uh, he doesn't know what you said. I want to go back to that um, <laughs> yeah. agricultural age. Yeah, because the Mesopotamians. The, I mean, if you see we're gonna have Christopher <laughs> Ryan here. <laughs> it's really good I, for him to Okay, fine. All right, just, I'm, just, fine, I'm, just I'm just announcing it to the people. <laughs> I was, I don't know. If we are doing a show. Who Can are you I talking do it? To? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was talking to you. <laughs> we are having Christopher Ryan here uh, on yeah. the show, so um, he's gonna clear all this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just have a question. Yes, <laughs> the orangutans, mm, yeah. they, they, and other uh, mammals, they, they barter. And that's just something that they do. They haven't raised berries. They haven't grown them themselves. And they, they, they know how to barter. So maybe the agriculture, that was just an evolution, a natural evolution. You mean evolution we, to, well, you from mean going the, from, the idea of possessions? and From uh, hunting yes. and gathering. Because they, it's you something, have a value and you're exchanging it for another thing that you consider right, the same value. Right, but at the time. I have seen well, that on YouTube. The dip, <laughs> you can learn everything on YouTube. Yeah. Did, you can. Um, I right, then. Literally. I started juicing and uh, my <laughs> fucking kale was wilting. And I typed in, my kale is wilting. And they were like, cut the bottom off and put it in water. Bomb. Like a rose. YouTube. Bong. <laughs> YouTube. I thought she was smart. But, uh, see? Just, I just, so He's many genius. gems. See, so you was genius. about to make fun of me and I got the cosign. What Fuck is off. happening? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to make fun <laughs> Harry, get it back to track. <laughs> uh, and we just went on for a second about my well, kale. I'm happy about quick, eating, Before we forget, I, I did find the study. It's a Harvard study that says 70% of domestic violence is committed by women against men. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's Harvard. Those guys are smart. Those are Harvard. Shit. That's those, Harvard. Those are smart. I mean, I may I mean, have, I, I like the fact that I said it better, but it clear, clearly it, that well, wasn't enough for you, Mia. What's, so what we got it? the real deal. You don't wait for <laughs> to take somebody's word for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, what is the control group? How many people? Oh, right. So oh, now you're asking me to really read this whole article. It's just the Bronx. The whole control group is the Bronx. The <laughs> In my, re- After in my relationships, in, the morning, yeah, the oh, oh. in my relationships, mm. my men were both uh, alphas, and they initiated the instigation of the volatility. Now I might have responded, but they initiated it. Mia, no, for real. Now Mia, does that Mia, does that Mia, work? Nothing. Mia, if you no, don't, I, 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 I didn't say I didn't do nothing. Mia, I said Mia, no, now they initiated the volatile Mia, behavior if, to intimidate. If me. I'm at a police station, to get having, me to a point to feel that. All I right, so you didn't go. Mm, really? You didn't no, give him, I, I, you didn't no, give I, I, yeah, if you but, put your hands on me, I put my hands back on you. Right. But Mia, if I'm at a police station and I'm telling the officers I may have committed the violence, but it was initiated by her, would that fly? If he hit, like you said, if he hit me first and I hit his ass back, then he initiated it. Sure, and but that doesn't really work in reverse for men most of the time. At all. We yeah, get hit. yeah I mean, if, if you're saying I'm going to punch a girl in her face, you're. But your whatever it is, is much I mean, different. There's a yeah, weird balance. I get your point. It is yeah, yeah. It will be a weird balance, but yeah. I also feel like it has to be checked in a way because a lot of men do abuse their positions and their authority. Sure, and I, I think and that's a lot of wrong. women do yeah. the same. Yeah. yeah. With what? Sex? What? Everything. Everything. Uh, this show is predicated on the fact that <laughs> women women abuse their power. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, we, and it's, we not, had a girl and it's here not who, in the same we, way, I don't not think. Not in the same not way, in the but same in a different way. way. We had a girl here who just fucking, uh, Caitlin Bailey came and she was like, yeah, you know, a guy wants to buy okay, me a bar. That was, that was weird. That's, <laughs> no, what? Don't do that. That was they a weird. Do. They do it all they the do. time. Women don't, women Can don't, you tell me what happened uh, from yes. your perspective? Okay. This cunt comes <laughs> on. Tell it more. Boy, you didn't see that one coming, Mia, did you? No, I want to. 
She goes, uh, <laughs> if if uh, I meet a guy and he wants to buy me a burger, I'll give him a conversation. That's what a burger's worth. If he wants more, he has to buy me more. I was like, I'm sorry, are you a prostitute? Did she, even if you are a bitch, if you're ba- basing your value off a burger. Now here's what's crazy. Me and then have a problem with the argument. She's just like, you need to get more than a yeah. burger. <laughs> <laughs> this this, this is type just, of bullshit. She's, she's talking about bullshit. the bartering stuff, about land and stuff. You're better value homeless. your vagina. You so got to factor in inflation, bitch. Right. <laughs> she yeah. basically, he can't suck his own dick. So get A your burger word. to her is like $1,000 because <laughs> she doesn't have a couch to sleep on. Like she just doesn't have a... Oh, don't... Oh, oh, now you're going. Oh, oh you see this karma. shit? Yeah. If you said that about a guy, you I go, say, you go, oh, he's a fucking loser. Yep. No, I say, why is he hungry? Mm, why, <laughs> why, you can work. You're a man. Why don't you do yeah. something? She can, yes. she can get a oh, job see, too. I'm saying, but that's not a all. A can work too. And when you're working, make sure you get more than a burger. All I'm saying. Hey, fuck you, bitch. We're not. <laughs> hey, your burger. <laughs> buy you a dollar slice pizza, bitch. You better be happy. And, you better be able to buy your own burger. And, yeah. You know, Andre's bartering. See how it works? It's yeah. Yeah. I'll Take you a dollar burger. slice, have a smile. I'll give you a I'm you saying, well, Here's burger. what I'm saying. How many women out there go out on a that date care, right? because they're hungry? Because they go out <laughs> with, a, with a guy because they're hungry, know that they don't like hungry the guy. Hungry for sex, no. maybe? No, they're Mar- right, talking about you. That doesn't register. They call them dinner what? whores. That doesn't register. Dinner whores. Yeah. Oh, really? Dinner that's a thing. Whores. Yeah, the, that's a real thing. Go Man. on dates for free meals. Absolutely. Holy shit! It's been really. Yeah. That doesn't register to me. You two bitches don't know nothing that's <laughs> going on in your community, do you? I'm right? like, waste my time. Like, I'm not going to do all that work to get myself together to come up there just to eat something with you that I don't even like you. I don't even want to sleep with you. I don't want to hang out with you. I'm not doing none of that. But are you? You're <laughs> say, are you not <laughs> you're aware wrong. that this happens? Are you really trying to tell me you're not aware that women go out? There's with There's levels to this shit, and if I'm get, if I'm going out with you for a steak dinner, you're my man, a steak. and it, and it's it is what it is. Yeah, exactly. Hey, a steak. I'm not going no, no steak. <laughs> you also don't Ever. surround yourself okay. with people that do that. Okay, so he, and I have he, no problem putting the bill. Yeah. Okay, how often do you pay the bill? I try actually. I really, if I really like a guy, I try my best to do that up front so he can feel that sense of value with. And then me. what? Yeah. What about on the back? <laughs> At that, after that, once you done got the ass, you done. You done. Like you said, you bought the whole cow. Mm. So I don't. I don't get treated no more. Yeah, you get the treats, but you make sure I stay treated too. It's equal. You get treats. It's never equal. Yeah, Mia, it's never equal. <laughs> It's never equal. Well, in all fairness, we'll say that with, with Mia, I mean, you have your own career going where Always. you're uh, you're probably making a lot more money most of the time than anybody you're No. Paying, no? No, my, no, my ex-husband higher. was very rich. But he also was so I, I can't I can't agree with everything you're saying because he was not equally fair. He used his power. He right. used his position. He used any way he, he could to control the situation. So that's right, not my right. experience with other girls had that experience. It wasn't mine at all. Right. Uh, I, okay. So that, I can't I can't say I agree with you because that wasn't my experience. I I understand that because I go through this with Mara. Mara's different. Really different. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I understand that that might not be your experience. I know dudes who who will act like bitches and they chick treat them like shit and call them names and all kinds of money and withhold sex from them and all. I, that's not my... He ex- chooses to stay there because it must be good. That is Why he's staying there is the with it. Horse shit. See, that's the that's that the thing that so we're trying to kind of change. Actually, it's not that they choose to. That's no, horseshit. man, he can go I out and pick him another chick if she's acting that. Really? Kind of is that all he has to just go out and pick <laughs> just up go another out and chick? Say hi. But no, wait, wait. They Dante. screw a bunch of them anyway on the side. You no, are no. bugging me. Yeah, you are <laughs> fucking bugging <laughs> because you you are living in a bubble. And I, s- I can't agree with that. I have been in okay, a very privileged but if you, position. If you if you're living in a bubble, how are you talking about this shit? Like it's the general consensus. It's not, I can only speak of my perspective. You you're not aware of any perspective other than what you deal with. I I just don't I, I can't fathom a man staying with the girl who's withholding sex from him, and that's his excuse if I'm that, staying because that what, is my what thing. That might that is be marriage. I mean, marriage I because guess. well, first there's a lot of reasons. One they because don't get because divorced, uh, marital money. marital laws do not favor oh, men in yeah. no shape or form. So you get a you get a bitch like some Swedish bitch who comes in the babysitter and then she takes half of fucking of Tiger Woods money. That bitch ain't never putted a fucking golf ball in shit. <laughs> and all of a, she's a Swedish fucking babysitter. And then this here's the crazy shit. I had a I, I just did an interview with this guy. Uh, Preach, uh, brother. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> he is Al Jermaine. Al Jermaine is one of the number one 
uh, lightweight MMA fighters in the game. His girl, he's like, my girl. So the, I'm talking to this guy. He goes, how do you get, I was talking to Luis Gomez. He goes, how do you get a girl that's so hot? Bah, 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 bah. And then he goes, he goes, what does your girl do? Oh, she, oh, she, she works at Sephora. I was like, and he's like, well, you know, she's really sweet. We hit it off nice. I didn't like, blah, 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 blah. I go, that bitch sells curve. That's the, <laughs> you are the number one contender for fucking in, in MMA. In the world. You go in the world, you step in a ring, you fight. But that's what he chose. That's but but his, career, but his, his career is not why he chose her. He chose her for that. I can say the reason, same thing about work. I can say the same thing about the dude, the, the, the chick that Ray Rice punched. That's what she chose. You could say that, yeah. Right. But you're not you're not going with it. You're like, mm, I don't have to go with funny, it. I have my own, I have my own. My yeah, own but stuff. we're not just but, talking. Right, but in a, <laughs> Mia, Mia. I'm exhausting him because oh. I from the get go I would not agree with you. But Mia, I'm gonna Mia, Mia somebody who who would say I don't understand transgendered people because I never grew up and around them. That's my experience. Yes. That doesn't necessarily make them right. I don't, I don't and understand I, and black people. And you know people. what? I think that's why I've been yeah. actually a good advocate because I never judge people based off their yeah. pain, whether it's volatile, hateful, disrespectful, because I always give everybody a, a fair and equal chance. Okay. If that's not your fair perspective enough. and you haven't experienced that, my job is to explain to you what my perspective is right. and educate you. And if you still, after that point in time, have a, uh, the same opinion, then that's just who you are. Mm. I can't okay. argue with you for not liking a black person if you don't like a black person or not liking Which a trans person. Which is absurd. Like that's trans really I mean, we are the coolest people. <laughs> 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 so like, fuck yeah. We, you know we I mean? made like everything. Every fucking thing. Come on. <laughs> I, I never use that as an excuse. Right. For sure. Okay. But, well, yeah. it, it, but it, it, if was, you're Italian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those, you know me and Indians. I love Italians. <laughs> East Indians. Yeah. Shady <laughs> business. Fuck you. Why do you need her? Fuck you. Except for my fans. Except for my fans. Uh, you guys, I love them. You guys are the good ones. <laughs> it's, 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 here's what's interesting. It's like with the, with the whole the whole Caitlyn Bailey thing. The whole Caitlyn Bailey thing is like it's like oh she's so brave, she's so brave. Bitch, you killed somebody with a car. Caitlyn Bailey. I mean Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn <laughs> Jenner. Oh, okay. Caitlyn like, Jenner. Like, Caitlyn you, Bailey did not kill anyone you, with a car. Let's no, get no, that sorry, she just sorry, sorry. Just burgers. To, I just got uh, on burgers. the ground. I just did this Eat show. Burgers. But but how does an accident define someone's character? Because she ran away, she she hit. Oh, I don't ran. know the details. She killed the motherfucker and left. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah. I didn't That's, know that. Yeah. So I don't. You know, I'm not saying it was an accident. I'm saying this is this is a bitch who killed somebody and moved on, and now she's brave because what? Like, just uh, shut the fuck also, up. Also, I'm not You're, really interested in hearing any of her perspective because she's like, I'm not into gay marriage. No, I don't. She's, she's a yeah. fucking I don't asshole. Understand. Oh. <laughs> like how do you not, pick? Not because trans yeah. of the transition. Not because of the because trans the Republican. She's because of the Republican. <laughs> the reality is, is um, it's great for the exposure to such a heavily um, unexposed, you know, topic. Yes. Yes. That it's wonderful for that. But the reality is for real, she's not real trans good, she's people. She's not even a good representation I can't, of it. I'm not going to say that. Yes, Let me you just can. Finish my you thought. don't have an Let opinion on it? My thought. All right, go this ahead. It's my opinion. Go ahead. Um, I think that her position was brave to some after living this life and being, you know, hiding from the world. That sure, was yeah. A, that was a big deal. Yeah. Um, but as representing the trans community as a whole, um, if you haven't lived that journey um, and haven't had those experiences, um, Let me you can't that represent one. the whole. Let me explain something. A girl like me Let has me lived her life. If her you're not from life. the ghetto, stay the fuck out the ghetto. Don't come to the hood. Well, see, I just, it's not the same. No, I mean, yeah, you, you can't relate to a person from the ghetto if you don't have that experience. Exactly. That's, That's what exactly. I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying that it's wonderful to have a face that people are actually going to talk about it, um, but that person doesn't represent the community as a whole. The person has Absolutely. not lived that experience. The person has not dated men and been in relationships and gone through the everyday struggles that those trans people have gone right, through. If you but guys, I still commend her for that is a brave yeah, thing. Just don't kill people with your car. Shut up. <laughs> you fucking, vehicular homicide. Shut I didn't the fuck know up. that. So. I don't yeah. know that it ran yeah. away. I don't watch TV. Yeah, for hit and run, and then because of her, pr because of his privilege, because he was still Bruce Jenner at that time. Privilege is privilege. They didn't. Regardless. They didn't fucking. There's no problem. And now she's brave, and now we forget that she was a murderer. That's called. That's called a uh, spin. Right? Uh, Called spin, media spin. Yeah. I, I, I learned mean, about that recently. I, I went through all that. Because you, you fucking with my girl, that's why. Yeah. No, uh, we didn't spin it. People were spinning my stuff. Really? Yeah, but we had spin? to get a grasp on that stuff. People you... were making up all kinds of, like I was somehow this um, 
seedy character, this, you know, I was married when I was 19 years old. I had my own boutique on Michigan Avenue. I finished school in Paris. Mm. You know, I didn't have this stereotypical idea, but because the media had seen a person before, um, <laughs> that the last situation know, in the public with a trans person was a very stereotypical, shady thing, the Wilkinson Right. Person. Which one was the Wilkinson one? I don't know oh, her name. Nice. Oh, Hank Basket. Hank Basket, the the Wilkinson girl. Yeah. Yes. What was that? I'm sorry. I'm Kendra. Uh, he had a. He had. He got he caught, had... allegedly one time, messing with a trans girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's much different than my situation. I actually had a friendship with someone for many years. Yeah. Okay. You know, I was yeah. engaged during this time and separated, and and you know, it was much different. But they tried to push me into that that niche and say. <clears throat> this is the same thing. It's, there's no way that this is a real situation. And I'm sitting there like right. this. Oh wow. Huh. Interesting. I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you, you know, spin that. But that's right. what I learned about the spin that wasn't actually true at all. Right. But because that's what the media and the public saw before, <clears throat> that's what they just used and said, you know, what is this the quote? During a time of yes. equality. You know, this is, you know, basically absurd. Wow. And that's I'm what thinking to myself, the time through what, what is absurd? I don't understand. Their relationship. That's what like it wasn't. A, it couldn't possibly have been a real thing real. Oh. during so a time of equality. Using a trans person to make up this, you know, rumor about this person. It wasn't a fucking rumor. Mm. This was my right. friend right. for years. How you feel I had, about that I had the same thing yeah. happen to me. How you feel about that I, had, I, I, I hope I get some royalties in the Grammy because it's all about me. What mixtape? <laughs> <laughs> you got some new mixtape. Got like three good songs. Everything else is trash. Who? Tiger. 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 Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's trash dance. Uh, yeah. yeah, he got glitter and then like. Uh, yeah. Okay. I haven't listened to it. But yeah. I'll, listen to I'll it. check it out. See, this is why we have him here because he knows some young shit that I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, That's good. I had the same thing happen with a spin. I had uh, finger popped this ugly girl in a movie theater. <laughs> 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 they tried, uh, so they said that was your wife. They were like, oh, Dante only finger pops ugly girls in the movie theater. I'm like, yeah. That should have had Lainey. That's not true. could have helped you out. could have helped you out. Because let me just, oh, I want to say, go on record and say, I finger popped the ugly girl at a Frankfurt stand. So yeah. <laughs> you go different places. You don't want to be limited artistically. <laughs> That's you it. You want to be typecast. You want to smell? <laughs> <laughs> do we have any questions, man? We do. All right, um, good. Do we, we have were, some listener mail? We were tweeted mail. a question. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah, there's some new shit. To when we record, to look, at wait, the Beige Villa. Can I shut up? Let me just say this. First, uh, here's what we do. We do a little listener mail, and, and you're going to hang out and help us out, please. Okay. Yeah? And, and don't give us your living in a bubble shit, okay? <laughs> my opinion is my opinion. So she can live in a bubble shit. It is not going to change. If she lives in a bubble, she's not covered in soap. What do you want Yeah, that's 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 little <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> Um, uh, listeners, just make sure that you you know that you can send questions through our Facebook page, Twitter, or through the website, uh, thebeigephilip.com. That's this my one... bitch! I was going to say that! You <laughs> did it for me! <laughs> this one came over on Twitter, um, at the Beige Philip. How do you create a bidding war while remaining on the right side of the faithful line? On the right side? Well, here's, here's the thing. Um, I've said this over and over, girl. Women find a man attractive who other women find attractive. So even if you're not committing to having sexual intercourse with other women, the fact, the simple fact that other women flirt with you and find you attractive makes you attractive. So you can still be faithful and still be flirty. She's going to be mad at you, but so what? You just dismiss that. Yeah, whatever. And that's good. As long as you're not fucking her, you're not fucking her. As long as there's no indifference. I went into a, I went into a, a, a barbecue place and I walked in and the, ch the chick looked at me and she goes, oh, Hi. And I was like, uh, I'm going to have a fight about this. <laughs> <laughs> now, what what do you say to people who would say that isn't it hypocritical in reverse? Because if your chick was being flirty with another uh, dude, I was gonna say that. you would be very Here, upset about that. Here's, here's the problem, because like we say, it's not equal. It's not equal. Okay. It's not equal. Cause he oh, is oh, actually, we had a lesson about this that okay. I like to fuck yes, up all yes, the time. Yeah, yeah. This is where I mess okay, up. Okay, so Jante, finish your point, and then I want to hear. It's not yeah, equal we'll in what sense? And then don't, I hear don't give him that look. <laughs> no, I want to. No, 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 I didn't. Give all right. Oh, okay. So here's, here's what happens. It's, the thing is, if you, if a woman... If a woman flirts with a guy, right? If she flirts with a guy, the guy is aggressively going to pursue her, right? So one of the things that I think that women always have to do is you have to, or not they have to do, but I think women do this all the time. Whenever they're dealing with a, with a guy, they know that they have, the, the first their first concern is, is safety. So if you get a guy who's creepy or you think a guy that might be a problem or might hurt you or whatever, as soon as women get that vibe, they 
they back the fuck off. So as a woman, you can be flirty, but if you're flirty with a guy, you 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 can't always control what his response is to that. And that's why it's different. So when a guy, mm. if you're flirting with a guy, like if, like uh, to a guy, um, no means no, but everything else means yes. And so he's going to aggressively pursue you until you go, look, motherfucker, leave me the fuck alone. And so, sometimes they still not. And still, not. and they still not. Yeah. Usually. God. So, so when you say it on the other, when you put it on the other, on, on, you know, you put the shoe on the other foot, you go, it's not the same. So if a guy is flirting with a girl, chances are the girl is not going to aggressively pursue him. She'll be, ha, 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 and then she's not, because women aren't built for that rejection. They don't go through it enough mm. to be built for it. We get rejected constantly. From my first erection, mm. I've been getting rejected. <laughs> Even before Stacy Diggs, Stacy Diggs broke up me in fourth grade. But Suzette Rodriguez, I sent her, uh, "Would you go out with me?" Uh, second grade, yes and she no. sent it back check yes, check with no. a sad face and tears on the sad face. How the fuck with do you remember no. these names? Because it's Cause, scarred. It's scarred yeah. for scarred. life. I'm a, I'm a broken man. When he went to school, there was like six people, and they were all in the same class. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a, a mic check? <laughs> <laughs> Cunt. 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 I'm not taking part in this. Cunt. Cunt. Yeah. Right, let me get bitch. Yeah. Bitch. All right. Perfect. Bitch. Bitch. Okay. I could. No, Thanks. Good. It's important to do those. It's important to do those guys. I thought the sound went out. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have another one on. Oh, wait, wait, but, but give your, your no, example. give your example of that. No, oh, I was just talking about flirting while I'm in a relationship. Yes, I uh, I was at a basketball game one time, and you weren't flirting. I wasn't flirting. It it showed as flirting. Right. Uh, I'm I have always been in sports. I'm from Michigan. The rah 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 whatever. And uh, these guys were sitting next to us. They were talking about basketball. It was very funny. Vino was on my right side. They were on my left. Huge group of them on my left. And then I got. I wanted to have fun, so I included myself in their rah rahing. And then at the end, uh, they were like, Yeah, and he was getting so butthurt about it. Mm. Just he would not talk to me. He moved to the other side with our friends. Uh, and then I was like, What happened? And uh, this is not the other thing with the, the baseball thing. Then you go to a baseball no, game and this it happened? It was basketball. It was basketball. It was basketball. Okay. basketball. We've never been to baseball. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I got yelled at for. Uh, and then you, you called me up. I. The next morning, because well, I know best, everything, Mia. That's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting the uh, the hint. I'm, I'm, the I'm best part, get it. after I got screamed at about about <laughs> hanging out with these dudes, uh, they all they all left. Uh, whatever early a little bit early and they were like yeah dog see you later and, and they, they were like pounding pounded me I was like please don't just, give it, just go just go <laughs> so, and he yeah. was pissed he was my ex wasn't and going Mara, beat Mara up was, at gas was not unlike you oblivious yes. to the whole thing Bubble. because she was just like she was just <laughs> like I was just having fun it was awesome <laughs> and he, she no, didn't she, I, see I never played that game because my guys were not having it if I made eye contact with the guy that looked like flirty or he was looking at me like he wanted to have sex, there would be a problem. So I've been snatched up at gas stations, spot in casinos. Yeah. Mm. I'm not even going to look at you when I walk into a room. I'm and how did you learn that? Because he was aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> so some shit, went, some, yeah, shit yeah, happened, like, uh -uh. some shit went down. But you were like, okay. I was traumatized. Well, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm not doing this again. But initially, you were like, pound it out. Beep, no, beep, beep. No. And then we did it before you I learned. I was just feeling myself as I did walking through. And I, my body caused a lot of attention. I'm very curvy. And right. Sure, yeah. And he wasn't feeling none of that. I'm like, but well, why did you ask me to marry you if you didn't? I didn't know people were going to look at me. Yeah, he didn't like it at all. Yeah. He's like, everybody wants to fuck you. I'm like, no, they don't. Look at the whole room. I turn around and everybody's looking at my ass. I'm like, okay. Look, yeah, they are. Right. I guess <laughs> I was down. wrong. Uh, I did I my a... study. <laughs> right, that's my study. Look back and everybody's looking like, shit. That's right. That, it's, it's Don't good... look at me. See, but that's the point. It was your experience. Exactly. I'm glad that you're going on my side now. No, I'm just telling you. That, that's how you That's how you agree with me when you have the proper experiences. Moving on. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> I still want. He just doesn't want to say it because it's his show. Uh, this is from our Facebook page. Uh, bears, deers, and bunnies. Oh, my. Hey, guys. What's the initial pace of dialogue that should take place to maintain a bear, deer, and bunny? I recently met a bunny, and although she was telling me much about her sexual past up front... 
being in orgies, etc., and that she was attracted to me. When I made a push telling her I wanted to fuck her tonight, the bunny ran away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, in, uh, thanks in advance for the advice. Love the show. That's some bullshit. Okay, uh, so I got to explain you so you know. <laughs> right, I'm like, what is going on here? Okay, so we there's three categories. We say there's three categories of women. There's bears, deers, and bunnies, okay. right? Bear uh, Bunny is like a girl that's very timid very delicate, and kind of delicate yeah. very t- <laughs> and so if you if you if you hit on her too aggressively she'll just be like and right. run deer is kind of like you gotta you can you can be a little bit aggressive coax. yeah but you coax like mm-hmm. come on <laughs> <laughs> and a bear you hold a snickers bar out and then when she comes out you hit her over the head with a two by four <laughs> <laughs> gotcha bitch <laughs> And she goes, mm, oh, no. <laughs> so, you got to be a real aggressive hunter to catch a bear. Right. 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 And yeah. a bear will eat you alive. Like if you if you are not alpha enough that she will like, rah, 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 and then you like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean, as soon as you apologize, she's like, eh, you bitch like that. Okay. So, um, so what is he asking me? What uh, what's the difference? Jesus, that's a whole. That's my book. No, 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 not what's the difference. Well, how what are the you... levels? Of, what are the types of conversations that you should maintain? Like how, how is she supposed to say, "You want to fuck tonight"? <laughs> no, you can't. You, you you can't. That's being too aggressive. But after she that like talked an hour about how much dick she's it sucking in the fucking so Walmart, was pre- so she was goofy pretending bitch. To I just be, don't make yeah, sense. Cool. Cool. She's, yeah, she's saying that again, Andre. She. I, Oh, I'm doing this fucking fucking everybody sucking those kind of dick, and then the second you say, "Oh, I," right, so you trying to get with it, and then she's like, "Oh, no, 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 church girl, Doesn't fuck this off." Feel personal. <laughs> it feels real personal. Pretending. Sometimes oh, yeah. <laughs> bitches will fucking <laughs> talk all the hot shit. I the second we get in the house, she oh, wanna be all this guy sensitive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, fucking drop them jokes. And I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I remember that thing. I had a, there was a girl I was talking to at a bar one time. She had like an S and M collar around her neck, uh, like a studded collar with like a hook thing and I yeah. go do you ever do S&M in your real life and she's like oh that seems kind of like a personal question like you are wearing did you call a retarded wait a minute alright well here's, here's but here's That's the thing with that what you're not it was just an image that she wanted yeah. to yeah. attract not really hey, let me let me get to this because uh Here's the thing. <laughs> he doesn't anything I say. <laughs> no, that's not. Because uh. <laughs> Mia's just floating around in a big soap bubble. Flo- She's not even sitting in the chair. You She's know just what, floating though? around. <laughs> that's actually a trick because I'm actually a pretty damn good hunter. I just use that. You're, you're a pretty what? Good hunter. Really? I use that a little you bit. You use the no, bubble to oversee no, you are not. <laughs> the land. You he are no not. I- listen, he has no idea. You don't know how to hunt shit. You don't have to you know how to hunt. Surprised. You don't have to know. How- what do you gotta hunt, Mia? You, All you, you gotta to do hunt. is show up. You the the fuck I like, up. I like, listen, I like me, certain let, levels. Let me let me say this. It first takes, of all, it takes a little coaxing. First sometimes. first of all, <laughs> you blinking slow is not hunting. Yeah, you are just yeah. showing up. I, you're just assuming that's how I do. No, no, you might have more. The point yeah. is, you might have I more have skills. Yeah. You might have no, other no, skills. No, no, stop. You're being I too do. nice. She don't have skills. Yes, she, I do. She has no idea. She's pretty. <laughs> That's what the fuck you no, show no, no. the fuck but up. Dante, to your rules, to your own pretty rules. Pretty bitch getting all the The same thing that attracts you to a chick is not what keeps her. She might be She might be able to have the skills to keep in a relationship, but initially that has nothing to do with why you're attracted. Sure, it's the sure. physical. Absolutely. It's so a, it's a different skill. It's a different set of skills. I agree with that, but here's the thing. It's always. You always get some pretty chicks that's talking about how good she is at hunt. You don't what? You don't hunt shit. Yeah. Stop it. You don't hunt shit. You're taking offers. That's what you do. You, You're not hunting. You, you are you are going thumbs up and thumbs down. Yeah. And that's not hunting. No. Hunting is going out. We gotta wrap. Okay. No. All right. I I should have not said that out loud. Right. <laughs> no, probably not. Probably not. It's the, the princess's car has arrived. That's oh, okay. Right. <laughs> the bubble has the bubble has arrived. The bubble has arrived. <laughs> the Glenda bubble. Yeah. She's, bubble she's got to do with big lips and some some soap and a bow, yeah. just blowing a huge bubble so she can float out of here. <laughs> um, so the, the, here's the thing. I think you have to. I want to answer his question. You have to kind of feel out where you're at. You have to listen and know the cues. And the only way that you can, like, to ask me a really general question like that, you have to hunt bunnies to know how to. The, look, it, I, I say this all the time. If you want to know how to hunt a deer, you don't ask the you don't ask the deer. You ask the hunter, and that's because he's I just want done to it. say something really quickly. Sure. As soon as I turn my uh, camera on to Miss Mia over yeah. here, she was like, do 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 do. 
pause. I did it. I did it. Yeah, that's hunt. Yeah, that's hunting. Fucking oh, this is fucking horse shit. I will say before we wrap it up, as her publicist, I I want to do say something in Mia's defense. It is she is gorgeous and she does only have to show up, except that she does have an impressive big package in her pants. Yeah, and. Hetero, you meet a hetero guy, and he, at first, you know, when she's always very quick to, you know, when there, there's chemistry to say, you know, I'm trans, it she, it takes her own feminine wiles and her own hunter to get a guy to change his thinking a little bit to be with someone who's got a beautiful petite woman who's got a 10 inch cock. Nice. That ain't yeah, easy. Yeah. Um, that ain't easy. <laughs> Here's I would blink, say blink, blink. I would I yeah. would I would you say you gotta that. have game for that. You don't I don't think, think so, so Lane. I don't oh, think so. so. Here's you why think because men are that secure and liberated. No, here's what it is. In the backs of a lot of guys' minds, they're going, "Yo, I'd like to try this." And in and and, and okay, so that ain't idea. hunting. You got guys who not are not every guy is going though. But not every no. guy's going to no? do it. No, okay, so you don't you lose one or two out of the fucking Never thing. lost one. Okay, see, <laughs> so, so you haven't even lost one. Who ain't hunting? Yo, hey, yes, Don, I am. You know how many people said saying? no to me Bang. today, Dante? <laughs> how many? How many? Yeah, 27, and 27, and 27 and a half. 27 and a half. One, one said, midget. One I, was, when I woke up at noon. <laughs> <laughs> I slept in today. This is what, I, what I'm saying is ultimately what happens is you you have a guy who has the mentality and now this 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 situation presents itself and he goes, I'm in. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mia, let's just plug your, uh, yeah, your, your Twitter. And uh, Twitter, Instagram, the Mia Isabella, T-H-E-M-I-A Isabella. You can see me at uh, Headquarters Gentleman Club on Sunday, hosting my gold party with Amanda Lepore and keep up with my fun little adventures on social media. Okay. Mm. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. You got a picture of her, at least. I do, it. yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> Thank Make you sure so I much, Lane. Cute. Don't you shave do look really shave me. Thank you, sweetest. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Um. Uh. Mara. You can always find me at maralive.com or through our website beigephillip.com or through any of our social media sites. Mm. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Check us there. Harry, talk to uh, me. You can always go to my website, IHateComedy.com, for everything. And at Harry Turjanian, that is all my social media. Mm. Andre, talk to me. Yo, hit me up. Andre underscore D. Thompson, Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and you can check me out at, at Dante Nero or BeigePhillip.com. If you want a one-on-one consultation, hit me at SaveMeDante at gmail.com. Also, don't forget when you put... when you. you I'll send you the information. However, the sexual revolution is being podcasted. GYBB, get your balls back. BABB, be a better bitch. WWDD, what would Dante do? I'm going to get me on one of those bracelets. <laughs> we are out. I love y'all. <laughs>